crypto airdrops. The hype of them was reignited while I was gone, having a break from the tube. Aptos delivered an airdrop to its community, netting many a cool $6,000 plus for just enjoying their products on the test net. I'm sorry friends for being AWOL during an airdrop, but more are coming which could be much more lucrative than Aptos. So ring the airdrop alarm because it's time for Chico Crypto. Now, airdrops are not all the same. There are good ones which put thousands of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars in people's pockets, and there are straight up garbage ones who only airdrop because of the hype it creates. And I only cover the good ones. Number one in the hood, G. So let's dive right into the meat of this episode. I think Layer Zero is going to do an airdrop soon, which could net recipients more than Aptos. So first, what is Layer Zero and why is it going to be good? Well, Layer Zero is the first trustless omni-chain interoperability protocol, which provides a powerful low-level communication primitive upon which a diverse set of cross-chain applications can be built. This means two applications built on different chains can reliably and securely communicate with each other through Layer Zero endpoints. And the Layer Zero mainnet, it's live as one of the dApps built with Layer Zero is called Stargate Finance. And diving into Stargate's white paper, we can get an idea of why Layer Zero is going to be so good. On the first page, it says, we present the Delta Algorithm, a novel resource balancing algorithm, which in conjunction with Omnichain Communication, Layer Zero, solves the bridging trilemma by enabling unified liquidity without compromising instant guaranteed finality. Bridges are the most susceptible attack vector for hackers. Over $1.5 billion has been hacked through bridges this year alone. Shoot, just last month, Binance's bridge was hacked for a cool $100 million. So solving the bridging trilemma and problem is solving one of the biggest issues in crypto, and Layer Zero is the one who enables this. And rightfully so, Stargate, the first dApp built with Layer Zero, is already ranked number 345 on CoinGecko, and has an over $67 million market cap. And checking out the stats, Stargate is killing it in just a short seven months since their launch. Checking out the project's dashboard, we can see over 467 million is locked up. Pretty damn heavy for a $67 million market cap project. Going to DeFi Llama's section on bridges and sorting by one month volume, we can see Stargate is the third ranked bridge with over $543 million passing through it in one month. But sorting by 24 hour transactions, Stargate is number one, over 18,000 of them, which is nearly 2.5 times the number of transactions than the extremely popular Arbitrum Bridge. Now Stargate is just one of the toppings of the Layer Zero cake, and if the topping is killing it like this, how do you think the entire cake is gonna taste? So what am I getting at? Well, Layer Zero is gonna be big. So now, why airdrop? Well, going to Layer Zero's Gitbook and jumping into the section on their endpoints, we can see they have code examples. Clicking into the hyperlink next to interface, we can see within this code, they have a parameter, ZRO payment address, with an explanation. The address of the ZRO token holder who would pay for the transaction. ZRO, a token. Obviously, they plan on launching one. But it gets even more obvious when you realize this. In March, Layer Zero raised $135 million in a funding round co-led by FTX Ventures, A16Z, and Sequoia Capital. I wonder who just did an airdrop who is also funded by FTX and A16Z? Aptos did. And guess who is unlocking the Aptos blockchain to the multi-chain world, connecting it to the likes of Ethereum and other EVM layers and chains? Layer Zero is, as they have the Aptos bridge already live and built. But FTX and A16Z aren't the only big investors in Layer Zero. 
As we can see from their list of Series A investors, we can see PayPal Ventures is one of them. And the co-founder and CEO of Layer Zero, Brian Pellegrino, spoke on the significance of this. Let's listen in. This is the first time they've ever invested in a token, ever. Uh, they had to change the structure of PayPal to be able to hold tokens. They had to figure out how to do all of these things. But like they were willing to go through that process with us and like make that bet. And it was like pretty apparent early on that like they wanted to go through the work to make it happen. But then there is this. Back in May of this year, Brian Pellegrino on Twitter tweeted big eyes with a picture of airdrop conditions for the upcoming reunit wallet built with Layer Zero. Obviously, the CEO of Layer Zero is a fan of airdrops. So I hope all that information helped get my point across that this airdrop has a high potential of happening, and it will be a big one. But now it's time to show you how to get in the best position to receive the airdrop, not just Layer Zeros, others, including the reunit wallet. Checking out the Twitter of the founder and developer of Reunit, we can see on November 2nd, he tweeted, a pre-sale, a sale, then an airdrop for STG and VSTG holders. STG is Stargate Finance, so holding some of their tokens will guarantee you get the Reunit airdrop, but also will put yourself in a position to get the Layer 0 airdrop if it happens. The best place to get Stargate? on Curve Finance's quick swap, as it has volume, so little price slippage or impact, and it's decentralized, so you don't have to go through any centralized entity. Once you've picked up some Stargate, in my opinion, you should stake the STG and vote on a proposal, as Brian, the CEO, has retweeted the Stargate staking announcement and using VESTG to vote on proposals. To stake, you need to go to the Stargate DApp interface and click on stake. Your balance of STG should show up. Click on the balance and it will take you to the staking interface. Enter the amount you would like to stake and pick the duration. You can lock up the stake between one month to three years. I'm going to do one year, 12 months. Once your staking parameters are entered, go through the steps to confirm the transaction and your STG is now staked, giving you a VESTG balance. Checking out STG's voting interface from Snapshot, there aren't any voting proposals open. But once they do have one open, a vote, as I think this may be one of the requirements to boost airdrop rewards. Besides becoming a Stargate holder and voter, I would also use other dApps built with Layer Zero. And there is a batch built besides Stargate. There is Mugen Finance, Angle Protocol, Radiant Capital. But the dApp I want to cover and I'll utilize myself is Rage Trade. Rage Trade is building the most liquid, composable, and omni chain ETH perpetual. It is live on the Arbitrum mainnet and powered by Layer Zero. And Rage Trade itself is tokenless as of now. But also, Rage Trade is built and utilizes one of my favorite projects as of late, GMX. So, I would trade with Rage if you can. Do a long or short trade. Use the slider to set your leverage. 25% means 1.25x leverage of your total account balance that you deposited, and 95% means 4.76x. Try and sustainably create as much volume as you can. But Rage also has vaults you can deposit into. But checking out their only vault, the deposit cap has already been reached. So I would monitor it if it reopens and if any new vaults are created. And if they are, deposit into them. Now there are some other steps I would take to get in a solid position for the potential drop. Remember the Aptos Bridge Layer 0 built that I showed earlier? Use that, transfer tokens across the bridge, as Brian the CEO tweeted to use it when it got launched. Specifically he said, go play around in Aptos if you are so inclined. Well viewers, I don't doubt another big airdrop is right around the corner from Layer 0. But with this video, you could set yourself up for other airdrops, including from Reunit Wallet, Rage Trade, and shoot, even Arbitrum. So who does airdrops better than Chico? Nobody. Cheers. I'll see you next time.